Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. Father, sing one more time. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Reign, you Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. One more time. Prophesy, sing, I live, yeah. And I have no fear of tomorrow. I live, I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what Come on, turn to your neighbor and prophesy. Praise your name, and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Sing, I live, I live, praise your name, and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Just the voices, sing, I live, I live to praise your name. Let the devil hear you prophesy. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I live, I live, I live, say. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow, what tomorrow brings. One more time, just the voices. I live, I live. I live. It's giving us a reason to rejoice. Yeah, I live, I live, I live, say. I have no fear of what tomorrow One more time. I live, I live, I live, I live say. Praise your name. To praise your name. I need to praise your name. You're prophesying that this is why you live. I live, say. I need to praise your name. I need to praise your name. 
my spirit is fired up this night hallelujah we're going to make some dangerous confessions this night that will rem it will remind the devil that god and us are still in charge hallelujah while i came up that was the song that was in my spirit my, i tell you my spirit is fired this night ah i live to praise that name and i have no fear of what tomorrow are you tired of prophesying i live yeah. And begin to prophesy he has made me the head i remain the head forever i'm the redeemed of the lord he has called me blessed i remain blessed forever go ahead and prophesy my path is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the hand of the lord is upon me his favor encompasses me as a shield. A thousand falls by my side and ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me with my eyes. Will I watch and see the reward of the wicked? Go ahead and prophesy. My path is as a shining light. Shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. But I know whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that against that day prophesy i'm the head i'm blessed i'm lifted the anointing is upon me in the name of jesus my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising he's exalted me above thrones above dominions above principalities and every name that is named both in this age and in the world to come i refuse sickness i cannot be sick i refuse poverty it is far from me go papre take a tire god has not given me the spirit of fear but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind he has given me the tongue of the learned that i will know how to speak a word in due season my words are seasoned with song to minister grace to the hearers come on prophesy through wisdom my life is built by understanding it is established true knowledge is filled with every blessing i'm above satan i'm above the powers of darkness he has lifted me he has given me a name that is above every other name he calls me great he calls me blessed he calls me anointed. My gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My way pleases the Lord and he makes even my enemies to be at peace with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on prophesy koinonia. The Bible says hold fast. Your profession of faith let the redeemed of the Lord say so let the healed of the Lord say so let the blessed of the Lord say so let the anointed of the Lord say so go ahead and prophesy it doesn't matter what is happening in your family God is faithful God is faithful I shall not die I have no covenant with death I choose life I choose life. I do not live by the sword. So I cannot die by the sword. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I run into it and I am saved. Go ahead and prophesy. 
wealth and riches are in my house the wisdom of God is at work in me the works of my hands are blessed I move from glory to glory to glory to glory the hand of God is upon me the favor of God is upon me the gift of the Lord that is deposited within me makes room for me and it ushers me into the realm of greatness pray and prophesy let the devil hear you the Bible says as I hear you say before my ears so shall I do I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm lifted I have the mind of Christ I don't think failure I don't think defeat in the name of Jesus I'm an ambassador doing wonders for the kingdom I lay hands on the sick and they are healed. I cast out devils. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to announce the acceptable year of the Lord and the year of vengeance of our God, to give them beauty for ashes joy for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of god the lord is my shepherd i refuse to be in want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the quiet waters he restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I am planted in the house of God and I flourish in the courts of God even in old age i shall be fat and flourishing hallelujah the gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising hey proskopata that same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in my body that same spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in my body it quickens my body no divination no enchantment against me can stand they shall gather but as surely as they gather they will scatter because the lord is my portion the lord is my inheritance I live to praise your name and I have no fear how could I have what tomorrow brings yeah. I live to praise your name and I have no fear I have no worry I live to praise your name and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings hallelujah the best way to predict your future is to create it hallelujah so that you are not confused about what to expect and he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Has thou commanded thy morning? He said, The heaven, even the heaven of heavens, belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. The heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. 
But Job, has thou commanded thy morning? Have you instructed your future? Hallelujah. I refuse to enter into a coincidental future. No way. No. Hallelujah. You may not be able to do something about your past. But let me tell you something. It is absolutely within your power. God gave you anointing not for showmanship. He gave you the capacity to create. The only thing that can enter your future is the word of God. Nothing else can enter. Hallelujah. You can send the word. The Bible says he sent forth his word. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word. Listen. Every time you speak in faith, believing, I want you to realize that the word of God is creative in nature. Are you listening to me? To create means to make substance out of nothing. The word of God becomes that substance. It says, the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Every time the word of God materializes, it becomes something. The word can become anything. The word became flesh. It had substance. Listen, Jesus is the word. But you are the voice that will release that word. John said, I am the voice of one crying. Although I'm not the word, but I'm the one who gives breath. Hallelujah. That's the reason why the first characteristic of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence. Whenever the devil wants to destroy the life of a man, he brings you to a point where you cannot talk again. And at that point, you are hoping and wishing and trusting that things will change. But can I tell you something? It is not within, it's not just left for God to change things. You've got to use your mouth as a weapon of creation. Son of man, he said, can these bones live? He said, only thou knowest. He said, really, it's not within, if you want it to change, prophesy. He said, and I prophesied as, as I was commanded. There was a sound. You're going to prophesy one more time to your life. Many of us have left our future as a barren wilderness. You're just hoping one day that things will change. No. The fierceness of the world necessitates you rising up and beginning to practice the principles of the kingdom. I like the scripture that Bishop read. He said, they go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. As many that appear before him in Zion. Part of the things that happen in Mount Zion is that you go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Sing one more time. When I pray, thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Say after me, I'm blessed. Say it like you believe it. I am blessed. I'm anointed. The Spirit of God is upon me. I'm a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I know the word. I understand the word. I believe the word. The word is working for me. God cannot lie. I believe his promises. I'm an ambassador. Doing wonders for the kingdom. I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with sickness. I'm the blessed of the Lord. His hand is upon me. I'm the glory of the Lord. I'm the beauty of the Lord. I'm well favored. I'm like a well watered garden. The Gentiles come to my light. The kings to the brightness of my rising. I'm distinguished. I have the oil of gladness. I know what to do. 
there's no confusion in my life the word of god is a lamp to my feet is a light to my path through wisdom my life is built by understanding it is established through knowledge my life is filled with blessings say one more time through wisdom my life is built i cannot be foolish the wisdom of god is at work i understand the principles of the kingdom say i understand the principles of the kingdom i know what to do i know how to prosper i know how to live in hell i know how to be victorious i know how to live long i know how to command results the hand of god is upon me the word of god is making me wise it's giving me an inheritance i'm not an ordinary christian i'm supernatural the anointing is at work in me i have an unction from the holy one in the name of jesus give god a shout of praise hallelujah it says i commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then give you an inheritance listen listen if your life still remains in confusion then you do not understand the principles of the kingdom are you following me now the edge you have over carnal believers or unbelievers is the fact that you are not just walking in a system that you are hoping for things to happen by guesswork this is why we labor in the world day and night to see that you grasp an understanding everybody say understanding the bible says wisdom is the principal thing it says in all thy getting get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it hallelujah one of the greatest blessings of the word of god is that it takes away ignorance the bible says hear me for an heir although he's an heir but as long as he's a child he differed not from a slave though he be lord of all so although it is true that there are certain things that have been written concerning you it takes understanding to walk into that experiential truth this is what we seek to do the word gives you understanding there are a lot of people who just preach for effect there are many people who preach just for swagger but let me tell you something if you are truly anointed you will preach to create understanding for as long as i do not know how to cook jollof rice I, I will keep guessing is that true mix everything when but when somebody who knows what to do the bible says follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise the word of God is full of the compendium of people that came, they saw, and they conquered. They have left a testament of their exploits. So that we, by diligently following in partnership with the Holy Spirit, will do these things. And Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes in me. In other words, he that believes in all these truths, the works that I do. He said, he shall also do. And greater works. That's what the Bible says. It says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus that we should show forth that there be a manifestation of the things that we have been predestined to do. I told you this is a training ground. This is not a place where you just come and sleep or you come and laugh. No. This is a place where God gives you understanding. Say after me understanding. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. When you have understanding, confusion ends in your life. When you have understanding, the same boisterous river called life, you will walk on it as if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. We're going to pray one prayer and say, Lord, grant me understanding. Grant me understanding. Say it from your heart. Grant me understanding. These things that are still a mystery unto me. Open it up, oh God. The Bible says Jesus was going to the city called Emmaus with two men. And although he was the bread of life, they did not understand. 
but when he sat at table he broke the bread and their eyes were open say lord open my eyes open my eyes oh god when you know it you have known it forever when you know it it will tell in your life when you know it there's no confusion about it when you know it see he said they are life to those who find them you can pretend to find it but when you truly 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 when you truly know it it will show in your life say lord teach me teach me i'm willing to learn teach me open me up to the things of the spirit open me to the things that command true power the things that equip me to be an ambassador you have told me i'm a sign and a wonder say lord i don't want to keep seeing darkly open me up the bible says if the light in your eye be darkness how great is that darkness but it is the entrance not the reading not the explanation the entrance of the word that gives light pray i receive understanding i receive understanding that will put me in charge put me in command there is a generation waiting for my manifestation heaven is waiting for me there are lives that are depending on my understanding the things of the kingdom he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass he reigns he reigns our God is an awesome He reigns, He reigns Sing it with faith in your heart He was standing by her side hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord god bless you you will be changed tonight in the name of jesus god bless you please be seated greet one another hug one another tell them it's good to see you again bring out your notepads your pen let's get to the business of the night When you seek him early, you will find him. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of a parable of ten virgins. Hallelujah. And then the Bible tells us that five were what? They were all virgins, meaning they were all of the fold of God, same fold. But five were wise. You know, sometimes when I stand here, I just feel I should just open my heart. Look, let me tell you. The things you are learning that some of you take for granted, you will see people pay with their blood to receive it in the future. This is when you will appreciate it. You are not paying for it. Let me tell you something. The Bible says five there was a time all the ten had the opportunity to get extra oil is that true there was a time that they could have gotten as much oil this is the time right now but while five were paying they all had oil they all had oil is that true 
they were anointed they had knowledge but the remaining five said uh -uh, the fierceness of time will require that we hold extra oil and while the five held extra oil the remaining people the bible says although they were virgins they were foolish what was their foolishness refusal to pay attention when the those who sold this oil said remember the bible says it is wisdom that stands on the street and cries while men are passing wisdom is saying look pay attention to me we need a sunday school department who did cem please help that baby praise god are you listening to me and then all of them were gathered what they did not know listen was that the oil was being used and will require refilling and a time came when the lamp of the other five was dying and the bible says there was a sudden announcement this is exactly how life will present itself sudden announcement here comes the bridegroom everybody the bible says the five who were wise on the strength of their extra work they now said now we have enough for this occasion with the bridegroom and then the remaining five the remaining five who did not pay attention the bible says they were they came to beg the other five and say please can you give me small oil they say no when it comes to this one we don't there are some things they cannot help you do listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters there are certain parts in life that nobody can help you cross no matter how they love you nobody can get born again for you is that true And the remaining five had to run out i told you this thing i'm giving you the scriptural basis that when you don't pay attention to some things no matter how far you go in life the the, the time they were supposed to run and go and buy they didn't pay attention now they were forced to go out and the bible says while they went what happened the door was closed the door was closed there are some things you are receiving right now that you will bless God for tomorrow. I just sat this afternoon and I was just praying. I was just praying for everyone. And blessing God for the ability to hear and to receive the word of the Lord. Was that rain? If that's rain, bring the chairs inside. Bring the chairs. Just find anywhere and sit down. Come. Ushers, help them. Add chairs in the front. Add chairs everywhere. Come and sit down in the pulpit. Is the word that you are hearing now that will give you shelter tomorrow. Huh. You have been a shelter in the rain. You have been a doctor when in pain. Lord, you've been a listener when I call Oh Lord You've been my friend You have been A shelter in the rain You have been A doctor when in pain you have been a listener when I call. Oh Lord, you've been my friend. Listen, no matter what you are going through today, it's nothing compared to the whiplash that ignorance and lack of preparation will bring. I don't care what it is so long as you are breathing. The Bible says a time will come people will look for death and it will run away. What kind of suffering will make a man look for death? Sit down anywhere. Sit on the floor. It's better to sit on the floor. Don't be ashamed of the camera. We are not, we are not playing 
We are not acting film here. This is, this is life. Find a place. Sit everywhere. Come and sit around. Occupy some of these seats if you can. Just leave the minister's seats. Sit any other place. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. And I take God seriously. Say it one more time in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. They are life to me. Because I found them. Hallelujah. I receive calls almost daily, text messages, hundreds of text messages every day. And the major issue is that many people call and they are asking for help. Families, Believers who are born again, pastors, great men and women of God who are trying to find meaning as to why their lives are the way they are. Are you listening to me? Every time we counsel people, we counsel every Mondays and there are families that come with unanswered questions. Listen. The level of unanswered questions that are falling upon people are becoming too serious. People, look, people are asking questions. Questions about their personal success. Questions about longevity. Questions about health. Science has failed. The government has failed. I was reading the paper about i mean um, online now about um egypt and the commotion that is happening and this country and all the things that are happening and tears just filled my eyes i said lord i don't know what you did to me that made me to pay attention to your word but i pray that the people in koinonia will pay as much attention will pay as much attention the Bible says, my son, pay attention to my words. You see, let me tell you something. The days of begging people for the things of God are over. Are you listening to me? Where you tell people, oh, come, we'll give you sweets, two, two tom-tom, one vix, one tom-tom for coming. And the people say, really? Will they give it? Or there's cold and then we'll prepare tea for you. And people come, they say, that tea I will take. Those days are over. Because whether or not see everybody in hellfire today believes in jesus i hope you know the only mistake is that they believe too late the bible teaches us that there is a time please project lamentations 328 lamentations 328 i forbid you i forbid you from failing in life in the name of the lord jesus I forbid you from entering prostitution as a result of not listening to this message. I forbid our brothers from becoming arm robbers. Arm robbers are not just the ones who jump fence. I forbid you from going to a harbor list because you think the word of God is not working. Do you know the number of people that patronize harbor list, Bishop? It's not a hidden thing again. Pastors, prophets, apostles everybody look at graduates running helter skelter around nigeria did you know that many people who run back to zaria don't just run back because of desire they run back because of the pain and the severity of the frustrations but there is a way 
God cannot leave people in the dark. There is a way. Listen, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out. You must search it out. You must search it out. Hallelujah. You must search it out. It is good for a man. Man doesn't mean a male figure. It just means a human being. It is good for a man that he bear his yoke. When? When? What is it about the youth of a man? The Bible says the glory of men is their strength. Is that true? Bear the burden. Pay the price. That's why I say this every time. You will quote me in the future. No matter how you cry, I don't care how you are looking at me, I will say it. Hate me, I will say it. I will preach it. We will file you. When you become a wonder tomorrow, you will look for us and say thank you. See, when you are in the training ground, there are some things you don't think about. You don't say, ah, my makeup, this powder is 10,000. Uh -uh. Or you say, Kai, this is my suit. is." Uh -uh. When you are in the training ground, you are there for business. It is when you win that you will celebrate. Is that true? Now is the time for training. So when we say pray in tongues, don't just say, ah, this fine guy is still looking. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. If you don't pray, life will whip you and you will still open that mouth. It will be open. The only thing is for what? Either to announce your pain and tragedy to the world that cannot help or to cry before God. Who is our help? I say, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. See, if you really get this thing, you have gotten it forever. Are you hearing me? I want one lady who can cook. You know, don't you know it's not pride. God has blessed you. You know you whether you're a caterer or something. Stand up, just one. Who is that? No, no, I'm not going to say you cook. It's an illustration. Oh, let's call the ones we are sure of. Opie, stand up. <laughs> oh yeah, now, stand up. Look at this, listen. If we ask you to make cake now, can you make it with absolute confidence? Ask me the same question. Ask me. No. I may try. It may work. I don't know. That's how many people's lives are. You tell them, how can you lead a man from point A to P? They say, well, I know. See, there is a level of persuasion I want you to get. Not just belief, persuasion. See how she just smiled about the cake thing. But if they ask you to, there are some of us, you've made it once, twice. Hallelujah. It wasn't bad, but you are not sure. Is that true? When I saw this guy snapping, and Oga John, I knew they knew what they were doing. Ask me to snap. All I know is to look at you and press that thing. Doesn't matter how it comes out. But these guys know something about perspective and angles and the rest. This is what I'm teaching you. Don't just enter the world blindly and hoping that things will change. There is a fierce world out there. Are you listening to me? You're not going to live in health by mistake. Please get this. Are you listening to me? Living in health is not a mistake. You're not going to be prosperous by mistake. One day you wake up and say, wow, so I made it. Mm -mm, it will never be by mistake. You're not going to know God by mistake. You won't have a glorious life and a ministry by mistake. You will not raise children after the fear of God by mistake. This thing of mistake or nemesis or if God wants it, he will do it. Stop that kind of language. It's not a good language. Say, if God really wants to bless me, after all, I didn't ask him for Jesus to die. So why would, if he, wouldn't he freely give me all things? See, if you don't pay attention, you will be surprised. Is that true? Now, Hope, let me ask you. Was there a time you could make cake but not very well? What did you do? Did you train yourself? You went for catering school, Mrs. Kait, Abi. Now, listen. You went, you, she followed those who, with faith and patience, leaving Samaran going to PZ every time. 
because she was determined. Is that true? Now, she can bake cake for wedding. Somebody will give her 50,000 overnight. Is that true? And somebody will say, ah, hope that the same, uh, our birthday is the same. No, it's not the issue of birthday. This is why people get angry at the success of their colleagues. Because they think life respects age. Ask Elihu. They say, ah, when did the uh, promise become successful like this? When the same koinonia, the same, in the same class, taught by the same teacher, somebody will get 100, somebody will get zero. Is that true? God bless you. Please sit down. If you pay attention, if you pay attention and you give it seriousness, I promise you, it's a guarantee. I promise you. You know what? I said this thing right from when we used to meet at the back of chapel. That we will be so successful and the beautiful part is that we will all know ourselves. So that it will not be guesswork. You will know what you did. You know, when you ask a pretty lady, you say, I, I see how fine you're looking. What is response? You say, it's God. Bro. Yes, it's God. But let me explain to you. It's God. God gave grace. You took advantage of that grace. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, but this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than he all. It's God that gives children. It's the woman that carries the gift. Correct? So that tomorrow, when you are blessed, it will not be a mistake. And the purpose of the blessing is to make others a blessing. That's why your blessing can never be by mistake. God will teach you the steps and you can guide somebody. Tomorrow, some of you, you are looking at me now. Some of you will be the ones on air. Presidents of nations will come to see the hand of God upon your life. And when they ask you, you'll be talking to other people. When you see somebody sagging his jeans and laughing, say, look, for your own good, you better wash this childishness and sit down in one place. It's not the issue, oh, I can do both. It's the matter of the heart. Sit down and allow God to build you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, we've been considering the su subject of success. I tell you, my spirit is fired up. Proverbs 18. We began two weeks ago by talking about the spiritual dimension of success. Give me this mountain. Hallelujah. Played the documentary and we taught. I told you that success is spiritual. Everything, life in itself is spiritual. Don't let secular humanists deceive and confuse you. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Then we considered the place of wisdom. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by studies. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by accumulation of experiences. Job said, this wisdom is not found in the light.
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.